Okay, good job. Keep going. Go, keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Who <laughs> do What kind of a bird are you? <laughs> Spike, what can I do? This thing still won't take flight. We're gonna figure it out. Oy, oh, these wings don't work. We need new ones. New ones? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bird? What kind of bird? I think we found ourselves some new wings. <laughs> <laughs> Lost. The rudder ready? It's all set. Where's the lookout? Right here! Perfect! Deck hand, are the supplies ready? Oh no, guys! We haven't got any supplies left. Kuba ate it. That's okay. We'll get some more. Ah! <laughs> I could really go for a delicious little rabbit. <laughs> Or maybe a little mouse. <laughs> Remember, we have some supplies back there. But we can't go alone, or the vulture will catch us. <laughs> Tig! Lily doesn't know anything about our forest. You know she could get into real trouble. Hey, nothing's gonna happen to her. We'll all be together. When it comes to the taiga, I'm an expert. I know every blade of grass. I know every bush. Uh, I, I fell on purpose, you know, to show you one has to be careful. Also, watch out for the pine tree roots. They might trip you up. Look. <laughs> you know, around here, I'm basically a king. The others call me Tiger, King of the Taiga. Huh? But be careful under the cedar trees. Hey. <laughs> I haven't been to this part before. Take, I'm not used you're to so it. Funny. I usually take a different route. I could go for. A tadpole, or maybe, maybe a little mouse. Huh? Now that looks like lunch. Hey, don't you worry. You don't have to be afraid when you're with me, okay? Lily? Hey, do don't eat that. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lily? Me. Lily? Me oh. No chance. Hello, hi there. I'm Rick Rog. Oh my, hi. you're really fluffy. Can I pet uh, you? Hey, keep your hooves off of me. <laughs> All right then. You want some grass? Why aren't you eating? It's juicy. All right then, not hungry. What are you doing here anyway? Do you need some help? I've never seen cats around here before. I'm not a cat. I mean, does Vulture live up here? He's over there. Over where? You're sure that you don't want any grass? Try it. It's delicious. Uh, thanks. How about I take some with me for the road? I'm in a hurry. Lily is in big danger. <laughs> it's time for a delicious feast! It's my lucky day! I'm not lunch! I'm Lily! Hey! You mean you're still complaining? Ah! Well then, I guess that today's lunch menu includes something quite exotic. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call my friend. <laughs> Sit here and be quiet. I said be quiet! <laughs> G 
goodness. I didn't know goats could climb so easily. Only mountain goats. There's a whole legend about it. I'll tell you the tale, my striped fluffy friend. It goes like this. It was a long time ago. We mountain goats used to live in the forest. We had a fearless leader with great big horns. Almost like mine. One day, we gathered in the meadow to celebrate the birthday of our fearless leader. We were busy celebrating when all of a sudden a forest fire began. The leader's advisor warned him about the fire, but he didn't want to end the celebration. He had hoped that the fire would burn on the other side, but no one tells a fire where a fire should burn. The flames surrounded the goats on all sides, but what could the goats do? There was only one way out, up the mountain in the middle of the forest. However, the goats couldn't climb it. The leader turned toward the mountain. He started to complain about the dry trees. After all, they're to blame for what happened. If they weren't so dry, then they wouldn't have caught on fire. So he asked for help, but the mountain didn't respond. So the leader thought, who else is to blame? Aha, the leader said, it's the wind who's to blame for the fire. It blew the flames toward us, but the mountain didn't respond. The fire was getting closer and closer. They could feel it getting hotter. Then the leader finally said, I know, okay, I'm the one to blame for everything, you know? I really wanted to hear the goats celebrating me and so I didn't tell them about the fire. Help me to help my herd, please, he said. And if you want, I'll even stay right here. And then the mountain helped the goats climb up. It gave us the ability to climb any mountain and we were all led to safety. We haven't left the mountain ever since. <laughs> hey, you want some grass? Do you need some help? Hold on tight, kitty cat! I'm not a cat! Whoa! Uh, ooh, whoa. Uh. Oh. Uh. Here, this is the final stop. You're on your own now. Huh? some grass. Why would we want grass? Uh, we are having ourselves uh, an exotic lunch. So get lost. Are you sure you don't want any grass? No, we don't. Well then, you can taste this, birds. I really wanted to have an exotic lunch. Uh, let's get out of here. You haven't heard the last of us! <sighs> Thank you, Rick Rog. <laughs> no worries, my striped fluffy friend. Tick, I'm sorry that I that we Lily, I wasn't watching. I let you down. I'm sorry too. Will you forgive me? <laughs> Anybody want some grass? Try it. It's delicious. Where were you guys? And why didn't you get any supplies? Uh, um... It was all my fault. Well, to be honest, I... Uh... Anyone want some grass? What are we, goats? Chewing on grass? <laughs> Don't worry. We got a lot of supplies. Let's go. <laughs> So tell me, are there really a lot of my spike? 
A lot of mice. There's gonna be mountains of mice. Yeah, for real, mountains. Hoot, hoot. Uh, uh, are there are there lots of fish? It'll be overflowing with fish. Hoot, 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 hoot. Here we go. The spot strength won't get away with it this time. The monkeys are finally gonna be ours. <laughs> 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 the monkeys will be ours. 